Hutchinson. You're my first suspect in this case, and you look pretty guilty to me right now. I'd love to put a cap on this, wrap this whole case up, and be home in time for dinner. And for me to do that, I've got some questions you're gonna have to answer. And I know a lot of people in this town will feel safer with you in jail. And I'm tired, really tired, Michael. I haven't done anything, I really. Do. All I've gotta do is convince the jury that there's enough evidence to put you away. Now, I need some information about these pictures. And I wanna know what you were doing with these and why they were in your locker. I swear I've never seen these photos in my life. I don't even know how they got in my locker. Not good enough. It sounds like a lie. It'd be really hard for a jury to believe that you've never seen these and they were in your locker. You know what's gonna happen? You're gonna go to jail with some people that really don't care a whole lot about you. Um, I, I may have seen these on her Instagram before, but I still don't know how they got in my locker. Like, do you really, is this why I'm here? Do people really think I did something to Sophia? Well, did you? I got another question for you. Where were you on the night of March 3rd, 2017? I can't remember, that was like a year ago. Well, you better start remembering. Think Carter! Okay, okay. I'm, I think I was at a photography convention and I wasn't even at school because it lasted all day. Good alibi. Came up with that pretty quick. You better hope it's true. Jennifer? Yeah. If you don't mind, I need you to check Michael Hutchinson's alibi. He says he was at a photography convention on March 3rd, 2017. See if those pictures pull up, and if there are, compare those to Sophia's Instagram. Let's see what we can find out. You got it. All right. Well, that was fun. It's not very often in Fallbrook we get to interrogate someone. I like playing the bad cop, acting mean sometimes. So you think he was telling the truth? Well, I think so. He was horrified. Did you see his face? Yeah, we did, Sheriff. We were watching. Well, that proves my point. Hey, Sheriff. Hey, Jennifer. That alibi checks out. Well, then it can't be him. I think Michael deserved that harsh of an interrogation. I mean, how do we even get away with going through all of those lockers at school? Well, it is a publicly owned place, so they can't really do much about it. Hey guys. Hey. We, uh, we saved you a piece. No, nice. I, no, you saved him a piece, me one piece, and then you ate six pieces. It's a bit greasy, but I'll take it. So check this out. You'll never guess what these are. What are they? They're pages from Sophia's diary. She had a diary? Yes. Yes, she did. And she thought it was a bit childish, so she kept it a secret. But that's not the point. The point is, look at the date. March 3rd. Why, why is that important? That's the day before she went missing. Oh, is, is that the day we went to the country diner with, yes. with yes, Jeremiah? Yes. yes. Oh, I haven't thought about Jeremiah since, since all of this crap happened. Who's Jeremiah? It's not, not important, but... But what, what's this stuff about the unknown caller? Yeah, I saw that earlier when I was reading it, and I... Wait. 
Wait, remember when Sophia got up and she had that call that she had to go take? She yeah. came back and she was acting really, really weird. Yeah. Wait, where did you, where did you get these again? Riley dropped them in the hall. <clears throat> Why did Riley have them in the first place? I don't know, but these are key pieces of evidence to finding out where Sophia is. No, no. Should we really be reading pages of her diary? I, I mean, it's the only choice we have left. This is the most evidence that we've had in the past year on what has happened to her. Wait. So, you're saying Riley had these? Yes. What if she's just trying to cover everything up? I mean, it's the pages about the unknown caller. What if she's the unknown caller? I mean, it all makes sense. Wait, no, that that was stupid. No, no, that was a good idea. Yeah, that's a I, good idea. I want to go talk to her tomorrow. At I'm gonna go with you. I'm gonna stay back on this one. I'll let you guys handle it. Okay. Why do you have pages from Sophia's diary? I found them. Why do you have them? I don't know, I just found them in the hallway and I was gonna give them back to her, I promise, but she went missing. Why didn't you turn these into the police? I don't know, I forgot about them and I, I didn't you, really think about them. You forgot? Okay, what did you do? I didn't do anything, I swear. <sighs> look at her. She's too much of a bookworm, too socially awkward to do anything other than go to class and work at the country diner. Oh yeah, you work at the country diner, don't you? I'm sorry for chewing you out. I'm just really caught up in Sophia's case right now. Well, if she works the country diner, there's no way she could have been the unknown caller. It's just another dead end. Sorry, I, uh, I forgot an, about an honors project that was due. It has to be a thousand words. So I have to be here to finish it. <laughs> I need to tell you something. Okay. And I know, I know it sounds crazy. I know it does. And you're probably not going to believe me, and that's fine. But I feel like I need to tell you something. I've been imagining things. Like weird things, and they've all been about Sophia. Brittany. The first one was of her duct taped, and a man came out behind her and was about to break her neck, and, and I felt like I was seeing it through her eyes, like I could feel her breathing, I could feel his hands, Chandler. Brittany. Then I saw her today. She was standing in front of me in the hallway, but it wasn't really her, it was... She was yelling at me, saying I wasn't a good enough friend, saying I wasn't there for her. Chandler, I wasn't there for her. If I were a better friend, maybe if, maybe if I were there for her, if we were closer, she would have told me what was going on. I could have stopped all of this. If I weren't so caught up in things that didn't matter and drama of being popular, getting Brittany. Being accepted, then... Brittany, oh my gosh. Listen, I don't, I don't know what to do. No, no, no. Brittany. Brittany, are you okay? Br Sophia, I am sorry. I didn't do any of this. This isn't my fault. I was the best friend that I could have been to you. This isn't my fault. This isn't my fault. It's no one's fault. No one's fault. Down the years, it's been a ride. And now I'm sorry I'm all, it's not in tonight And on and on, 
As we go, we seem to fight But baby, that's just the way we love And only in the dark do we see our sunlight Home is where we were Home is where we want to be And yes, we don't have time to say goodbye